I'm not disrespecting anybody. This is about justice, yeah? People will always rise up when they're oppressed. The main, the core thing that we, that, that, that we have to understand is it's about police brutality, yeah? As I said before, there's been over a thousand deaths in police custody of black men, yeah? Since 1960. And not just by the police, by also racist groups, yeah? Anthony Walker, for example, in Liverpool, a lot of people don't know this overseas, yeah? Was walking with his white girlfriend and was left with an axe in his head. If you're going to kill him out of young black people in police custody in the way that he has, it's going to create anger and tension. And on the streets right? as well. And Martin Luther King says, he says, the voices of the people who are never heard will eventually get heard. You may not like the sound they make when they catch your attention, but the people who are routinely ignored on the periphery of a society will eventually make their voice heard. Obama's not black. We need to appreciate what Tama Brown boy are, who belong to the African tribe and who don't belong. We all need to pray. Black people always pray. pray that the police stop killing our youth. That's what we need to pray. That disgrace, disgrace. What about the paedophiles in the church? She's there defending church, huh? The Catholic Church over over a thousand. A thousand, over a billion, over a billion pounds on child molestation. Don't come and tell me about the blood of your white Jesus. Yeah? This ain't about race, this ain't about religion, it's about justice. Yeah? They need to stop shooting down black youth. We've had enough. We've been having over 400 years of slavery. Yeah? Come through that, then second class citizenship all around the world. Yeah? We, we're not going to be prison in our own community. We have the right to self defense. Yeah? What do you think we learned during Black History Month? We learned about Malcolm X. We learned about Marcus Garvey. Yeah? So you think our, our, our parents died and our grandparents died and suffered racism. So this generation, yeah, has to go through the same thing. We're not, this generation will not take what our, our ancestors took. You understand what I'm saying? This is a different generation now. Go, go to Palestine and try and kill them over there. Go to Afghanistan and try to kill them over there. Yeah? Black people are easy target. You know we're vulnerable. You know we're still suffering mental slavery. You know we're not fully unified. That's why you keep picking on us. But it's gonna stop because we are the original people on this earth. You can't wipe us out. We've been here since the beginning of time. So how are you gonna get rid of us? Yeah? Kill I today, you cannot kill I tomorrow. Yeah? Kill I today. You cannot kill it tomorrow. Hurt the heart, but you can't hurt the soul. The soul is eternal. You understand? So for each you you kill, there's going to be a judgment. You understand what I'm trying to say? Whether that's a physical judgment or a spiritual judgment. But the judgment must come sooner or later. You understand? This is good over evil. Don't try to come and stigmatize us and say we are aggressive black people. We're fighting for righteousness. You understand? This is, our, this is righteousness we're fighting for. Yeah? We're fighting against evil, wickedness in high and low places. You understand? Yeah, they're in a jail in this country. I haven't seen from I was a boy, which made me which made me recognize that the police don't care if you're young and black. Because they look they locked me up when I was 16 years old. 16. Oh well, now I'm still in disbelief. And for so long. You understand? And in them days, the racism was rife when you went to prison in them days to Borstal and youth custody. There wasn't no Indians, there wasn't no Chinese being arrested for their DVDs and stuff. Like, there wasn't none of that. There was no Africans in the English jails in this country. It was only black and white. It was just black and white. And we had to fight the, we had to fight where the white inmates were concerned. Plus, we have to fight the white prison officers. You know, it brings tears to my eyes. You know, you understand? And when you see man who's got their rug inside their cell, no, I was pissing in pot. You understand? Yeah, and man shitting in pot beside me. You understand? Yeah, and the prison officers calling you nigger. And they try to brainwash us by... There is some wicked people out there, you know, who will say, forget about that, man. That was a long time ago, so forget about that. That time, they haven't even addressed it yet. But because they don't want to, they will make out like you're going on about something that happened a long time ago. So 
yeah, you're bringing up old history. No, because it's the history that shapes the future. Defending yourself against oppression is not racist. Do you understand? If police are going to shoot, police are supposed to protect and serve. Yeah? They were established around the times of the 1920s to protect and serve. Yeah? They're not protecting and serving. As it is TV.